Hey guys, how's it going? Another overcast and rainy day as opposed to hot, windy and dry. Australia, the land of extremes. Well, catching the feels in kink. Now, this is an interesting thing as there's a, um, a girl who wants their significant other to be a dom, um, but then asks about, you know, having someone else be their dom um, because they seem to be not really into the kink. Um, I don't know a lot of details other than the, the question of, you know, should I ask my significant other if this is okay? Said, well, of course, definitely you should ask. But the other thing is, they asked, you know, will I catch the feels for the dom and all that sort of stuff? And I said, well, yes, you will. <laughs> In general, you will because of things like sub frenzy, new things, new relationship energy, you will have feelings for your dom, yes, as they will have feelings for you. It's just the nature of being human. You will have feelings for people that you interact with um, in general, positive, negative, you know, either way it goes. Now, I'm taking the assumption that they're worried that, you know, they might sort of fall in love with their dom and all that sort of other stuff. It's okay to love a dom that is not your significant other but there are also boundaries. There, um, you've also got to, I say not fall in love, but you know, love them because it's like you learn how you like you love your friends, and this person can be significant in your life, but it might not be the love forever after getting married, romantic fireworks or whatever. Or it could be the whole fireworks thing. It's just like not the I want to marry you and settle down kind of love not a lot of people know the difference so it's very important to um, understand that that is a possibility that that might happen but the level of emotional I guess emotional intelligence or maturity that um, that's there to be able to differentiate what kinds of love can you um, cope with the varying different kinds of love and levels of love can you differentiate between your significant other long-term life partner or a long-term kink partner um, friends with benefits or you know um, any other sort of love that you can think of because there's a lot of different kinds of love like you know love you feel your love um, you know friend love lover love um, you know, mateship, big in Australia, is a kind of love, you know, caring, uh, sensitive feelings for people that you know and interact with. So, um, yeah, the feels in kink, have you, um, I mean, it's, it's quite common though also for people to mistake the feeling of subspace um, and the connection that they get during play with love for the people that they're playing with. Um, this is both top and bottoms, uh, D types and S types. Um, it's not necessarily love, and though people try it, because there's other people I know here in the scene who are quite happily in partnerships, and they do play with others outside of those. But there are um, people that try and get in between them, and I'm like, mate, they're happily together for years. Oh, but I love them. It's like, no, you don't. <laughs> You don't love them. You have drop where you're getting obsessed with them and you have a craving. Um, it's not love. Now, the only way to actually be able to differentiate that is to experience it, unfortunately, for you guys. Um, so, and you will get hurt because you'll think it's love, um, but it's not love. Or it is love, but not quite the whole marriage, love, long-term thing. You can be long-term friends, long-term play partners, but when you come to think of it, you're going, you know, even though we're great mates and all that sort of stuff, we're not compatible on that, that kind of level. Um, so, have you um, had a relationship 
when you've been having a significant other and had a BDSM relationship and you've also developed feelings for your kink partner if so have you been able to differentiate the different types of feelings between your life partner and your kink partner and yeah that noise that beeping is a bit annoying and also how are you able to deal with that like did you actually talk and have discussions with both of your partners your kink partner and your vanilla partner or are they one and the same so those are interesting things and how are you able to deal with that did you come to a decision of you know is this forever is this for a long term do you want to see where it goes and and what did you do I mean when I first got into the scene there was a lot of things I wasn't sure of and I actually broke up with my significant other at the time um, because I knew I wanted something I didn't know what but I knew it wasn't to them and I didn't want them to change because or make them change to just please me because that would be wrong that would be enforcing my fantasy on them and putting them in a position that they would be unhappy and there would be resentment. So we broke up and then I started sort of exploring, going on my journey. And yeah. <laughs> anyway, feels in kink. Um, you will develop feelings for people in kink, good or bad, intense, shallow. Um, and that's just the way you are as a human being. Anyways, what do you think about that? Have you come across that? Have you seen it? Have you experienced it? I'll catch you guys later. Bye.